Good morning, everybody. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a junk drawer in your house full of useless stuff you're never going to use? Or maybe it's full of stuff you just want to disregard. Maybe it's stuff that you don't ever want to look at, but you don't want to throw it away because it's kind of a, a crutch to you. Maybe you have a whole closet full of stuff like that. Yeah, I think we all do. But I think I want to share with you that that is like your soul. Your soul is your subconscious. The soul is a place where all your stuff is kept good and bad ever since you were born. And that stuff can come out of the closet once in a while and not help you at all. It's beliefs that you believe about yourself. It's things you think about yourself. And those things are actually your identity. You see, when I was young, my, my dad left me when I was four years old. He's gone and passed away. He's, he's, he's in heaven now. But the thing about him was he didn't know he had all the junk in his trunk. You know what I mean? And that junk caused him to run. So at four years old, he left my life. And that, unbeknownst to me, really, because as I grew up, I didn't really have any issues with my dad. He's, okay, he's a guy who left me, blah, blah, blah. But deep in my heart, in my soul, in my junk drawer, is where I have found my identity. And it screwed me up so bad that I thought I was useless, that I was worthless, that I thought, and it barreled all the way down to my daddy leaving me when I was four. That sounds a little crazy, but it really affects your life tremendously. I thought I was a, I thought I was useless. I thought I was, I had abandonment issues. I have all these issues that I'm dealing with right now at my age. And it's crazy. And I'm being set free every day through different modalities, through reading different books, through, through doing different things in my life. And I want to share those with you as we go on in this in this kind of series. You will call it a series, but um, I want to share with you how I'm getting free every day of all sorts of stuff. One was is a sexual shame. Ever since I was a small child, I had sexual issues in the sense of, I don't know, you, you put anything you want. Don't judge me, but we all have them. Identity issues, who we thought we were because of the stuff that was put into our our from our past from my dad genetically was passed on to me too. And so I've been dealing with that. Um, identity in, in finances, identity in love of life. Who's going to love me? You know, it all barrels down to who you believe you are. I thought I was a piece of crap all my life. Ever since I was small, I was always thinking I was a piece of crap, but guess what? I'm not a piece of crap. I am awesome. I am awesome. I have people that love me. I have God who loves me. I have, I have all this stuff. Just, see, God is just an infinite love. He's just the infinite love out there and in you to help you get through this. Right? So follow me today. Come and join my family. Come and hang out with me. And I want to help you get free. Because that abandonment, that, that, that little teeny issue, nobody wants me. It put me in a codependency almost all my life. I can remember when I was first or second grade, I had to have friends in my life. I had to have people that loved me because my dad didn't love me. And and I, this is my self-revelation. So it may not be you. It may be something else. But that was really deep in my soul. And I'm helping myself get free. And I want to help you get free if that's your issue or more. Find out what the core belief you believe about yourself is that deep down issues that happened, something traumatic happened to you between the ages of zero and eight. Figure it out. And that's your core issue in life. And that's why you believe like you do, think like you do, and receive like you do. Because you think you're a POS. <laughs> piece of crap. He said, say what you want. Piece of shit. Right? <laughs> and that's how I was many years of my life. And I'm coming out of it. I love you. Have a wonderful day. I think it's Friday. It's Friday. Woohoo. Have your coffee. Get that get to work if you work. Do what your passion is and have fun today. Love you. Have a great day.